How you going? Do you like to eat here? I've been shooting a few lately and uh, I've got one on the back of the truck that I've boned out and I'm on my way to see Phil. Phil is a chef and a bloody good chef. I spent a day in the kitchen with him once, or oh, I don't know, it must be 10 years ago now, and he taught me how to cook duck. I took two Muscovy ducks in and uh, all day we we sat down from lunch time on was cooking Muscovy duck every way you could cook it. And I can tell you that we both ate both ducks in one day. That is one hair boned out. Let's see what Phil can do with it. Hello. Hey, how are you man? Philippa. Good to see ya. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Good, good. Yeah. Well, how are you? I'm good mate, we're gonna do something with us. Hey? You do something with us? Yeah. Well, I reckon we can, you're both out. That looks nice. It should be good. Yeah, great. Right. What was the last time we were in the kitchen together? <laughs> Ten years ago? Down, oh, you're a bit grayer, so am I. Grayer? It's gone. Oh, it's gone. It's gone.
remember you teaching me how to cut celery 10 years ago when we did that duck. So what stock will you put in that? Um, I'll put probably, you can do it two ways. I've got a nice um, chicken stock, yep. which I've made. Um, and I like chicken stock because it won't colour the right. stock as itself. Because if you sell it like a beef stock, you can end up with a brown, brown kind of look. Yeah. And we want to try and keep this a lot white. So go chicken stock. Um, or you can use water, mix with a little bit of chicken powder. Cool. Nice. How's it doing, Chef? Yeah, good. Yeah, this is ready. Yeah, this is ready now. That's, that's just good. The, arom the aromatics are really good now. So we're going to add a wee bit of stock to that. We'll put a lid on it, and then we're going to cook that until this is nice and even. A pretty big stock pot you got there, boss. Yeah. Hey? It is, it is. Yeah, well, when you're running a restaurant, you've got to have plenty on hand. So we're going to add enough to cover that but not too deep because I want it I want it to cook but also want it to reduce a little bit as well so so this is a, a Thai green curry yeah here. this is doing it differently yeah this is doing it with no wok involved here okay and slow cooking but the flavors are going to be exactly the same as doing it in a wok and go this is a fantastic way to do goat exactly this way right take the, take the hair out use use goat same way fantastic awesome Right, we're going to put a lid on that throughout the oven. Okay, Chef, we'll go to Christmas shopping and we'll see yeah. you in about two hours. A couple of hours, yep. I'll give you a I'll keep an eye on it, and then when it's getting there, I'll give you the oven. Cool. And then carry on. Nice. See you later. Two. <laughs> the tally. I'll tell you, yeah, you don't need a tally, otherwise you don't have a lot. motorsport right, it's racing now, isn't it? That's why you're watching it. Yeah. yeah. Winning jeans, you've made these for us too while we're away. That's all for us. Happy days. Look at that. Or maybe his own fair hand. Merry bloody Christmas. Yeah. How many of those suckers did you make? 600 odd. Like a me. Yeah. This is the sort of guy you want to have at your birthday. <laughs> Filippo. Yeah. That's cool. So how do you reckon your hair's doing, mate? Sorry? They were going to hear still. Yeah, well, I had a lot of that. I think 20 minutes ago, and I think that's pretty good. Mm. Can we taste? Is this what Chef's doing? I think yeah, yeah, it tastes like that. Yeah, I'll say it every time. Yeah. <laughs> Can we drink it and we taste it and we drink it and we taste it? No, 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 no drink. No drink. Not till afterwards. Oh, she's hot. Well, I've just got some vodka on steam, so I want to. Get a bit of rice going there. Yeah, well, the hair's getting closer, so we've got to have some rice. Yeah. As hot as it is, we should have half each. Oh! Mm -hmm. Yeah, my chef hands. 
lift it now. Any more? And it will start really breaking up. No, it's pretty good. I don't know how Fortunately, uh, tender for a game here, yeah. it hasn't been softened anyway. No, no, just because we've um, cooked it in the braise, right? I cooked it in its own juices, a bit of flavour, and put a lid on. So you can see that it's reduced in, in volume, mm. which is great, but you've definitely got to be careful you don't dry out. Yeah, right, yeah. You know, because if it was getting low, you'd probably just want to add a wee bit more stock. If it's too dry, we'll probably put lots of beer while we're we? Well, we probably would, but you're not going to like it even, so it's too dry. Yeah. So, hey. So what we're going to do now is we're going to... Well, there's actually two different ways from here. From here, we could just add coconut milk yep. and then just season it. But you do run the risk of breaking up. We're just stirring and mixing everything in. You do run the risk of breaking up. So being a chef, I like things to be quite presentable. So I go and strain this. Yep. And then I bring the liquid back and I put it back in this pan because I want all, keep all these juices in there. Yep. Then I'm going to add some more flavours balance out that sauce, then I'm going to bring all that meat and veggie back in, fold it through, re-season it, and enjoy it. Good. Hope it goes. It's good. Nice. Yeah, I reckon. What I like about this, uh, fellas, you can do it with any meat. You're yeah, saying. You can, you can, yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, this is, this, you know, technically isn't an authentic green topic, but it's definitely a, you know, I like green Thai curry, but I wouldn't like to try and stir fry this here as quickly as we've done it today. You know, you right. want to another, give it another. Another while, or you'd want to marinate it, which I think starts taking away the flavour of the meat again. Yeah, absolutely. This is game meat we're cooking, you know. So. Yeah. So. I agree. Otherwise, we'd be doing chicken or something more bland, wouldn't we? Yeah, that's right. Get the, uh... that's ready to cook straight away. So I mean, if it, my motto is when I'm hunting, if I kill it, then I have to cook it. Yeah. So if I kill it, I cook it. I like that. Me too, mate. Yeah. Yep. Right. So there's my lovely stock, and we're going to add some coconut milk to that. We're going to add some more curry paste, bits and pieces. Get that nice, and then we're going to add our nice and hot meat back into it. Happy days. Put it over a little bit of heat. The idea here is to add some volume to what we've got, but um, what I've already looked at is the volume of meat that I already had, and I'm just going to, from what we had and the way the meat was sitting in the stock, I know that I can virtually double it without making it too, too stretched out, you know, too much stock to not enough meat. So that's right. what we're going to do here, so I know that I can probably add about that much. Plus, there's the uh, flavour aspect of the coconuts, nice, isn't it, with game? Yeah. yeah it's one of my favourites with uh, goat, particularly. Yeah. It's good, so we'll just bring this up to a little tent so we can get some flavour in it. Again, a little bit of ginger, a little bit of garlic. I like those two together, so... Oh, yeah, totally. And my green thigh. How do you like your green thigh? You like it pretty, pretty, pretty pugnant? Mild, actually. Okay. What about yourself? Um, I like it mild. I don't like... I find if it's too hot, it gives me the hiccups, believe it or not. Yeah, you can't taste the flavour of the meat either. It gets too hot. It gets, again, it gets away from what you're eating, eh? So. Yeah, that's right. It's just about getting there for me. I think we can handle just a little bit more. 
Yep. And this is the do or die of, this, of the whole dish, really. Right. It's the seasoning. You know? You're just going to keep adding bits and pieces to this. But what I do like about green Thai is that you can add sugar. And right. sugar um, gives you a nice, a nicer taste in the mouth, a nicer yunami, so to speak. What's the word again? Yunami. Tell me what Which that is. It's a combination of all your salts and your sweets and everything else in your mouth. That's called, you know, I thought that's when you know somebody, I can eat Yunami. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, I guess, yeah. Yeah. Yunami, okay. Yunami. That's a new word for me today. Yep. So we're just going to, I think this can handle a little bit of sugar. And this is where it all comes down to personal preference. We're making the sauce that all, you're making the sauce the way you want, really. Yep, yep. You know? So... Again, I need a new spoon. Give it a quick taste. What do you reckon, Chief? Yeah, it's going all good. Now, what's that? This is a little bit of chicken powder and a little bit of water. Okay. To me, to just to finish this off, needs a tiny bit of salt. But instead of adding just salt, I'm going to add just this little bit of chicken bouillon because it's adding flavour as well as. Right. Yep. Interesting. So I'm just going to add a little bit at a time. You remember to add a little because you can't take it out. That's right, mate. Yep. A little at a time. Yeah, what I generally do is I have a common say that oh, it's too sweet, so then I bang salt, and nine ounces too salty, so I put more sugar, and then I end up buggering the whole lot. Yeah. <laughs> and then you drink more beers. And well, that happens too. Because it's too salty, you end up with more beers. Hey, mate. It's good? It's good. You know, the chef says it's good. Be bloody good. I think it's good. I just want to bring that up to a little bit of temp. In the meantime, I think our rice will be ready. Pop the oven on steam. I see you did that, yeah. Yep, so these great ovens we have in our kitchen, there we are, put that in, 20 minutes later, prep, rice. Right. Right. Beautiful. Should we give it the, uh, the true rice test, which is the Japanese test? Okay. Yeah, that's where a Japanese person eats it and says it's really cooked properly because they are the connoisseurs of rice. You can be honest. No, it's different. Different. It's <laughs> what? Not that bad. It's Try it a little bit and just see what it's like anyway. Okay. Just we think it's Yeah? She doesn't lie. Must be bloody good, mate. Right. So when, I, when I cook rice, she goes, nah. Nah, is that right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right, I'll get back to our food. Oh, too much. Okay, so that's looking pretty darn good. It smells good. Yep. With a green tie, you can leave it runny. The other thing you could do, if you wanted to make this a thicker sauce, you could make a wee roux. Oh, yep. Butter mixed together, yep. and you can mix a little bit of flour and butter, cook it out, and then just put a little bit right. of in, mix it through, and that would thicken yeah, it up. Thicken it up yeah. We're gonna we're gonna eat it a bit more, a bit more the way you should. Happy days. Yep. Right. So we're gonna combine the meat back into that. Well, we're still nice and hot. And if we give that about five minutes just to infuse a little bit, yep. I think you and I are going to be enjoying a nice here green Thai curry. Happy days. Look forward to it. So, what do you reckon? I reckon we tear into it, mate. Tear yep. into it. I'll bring our rice over. Probably need to cut some coriander as well. I'll put a little bit of coriander in there. Mm, yeah. Like yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, coriander is great, mate. Not only does it smell nice and taste nice, but the coriander is also nice for your presentation when you're serving it, isn't it? Yep, absolutely. Yeah, that, that bit of bright yep. green in there. Oh, yep, yep. The other thing that um, I would possibly do, if I was going to do this as a, as a dinner party trick, yep. when we were 
at the stage of separating our, our stocks and sources, at that stage I could have come over and cut a whole lot of sal um, celery and carrot and bits and pieces and then I could have pan seared those. Right. And then that would give you that fresh look on top of the Right. Yeah, as it, you know, as it is, if you were going to impress somebody. Yep. Let's grab that. Now. Yep. Go for it. Bloody good chef. Well, we're in the eating. Two, four, six, eight. <laughs> Tuck in, don't worry. Out of ten, it's a hard one, isn't it? <laughs> Must eat some more to decide. Yeah, I think nearly, nearly ten, or I think. Nearly ten. Nearly ten. No, I never get it nearly ten. <laughs> don't you? I don't like this at all. This game. <laughs> Put some meat on the table and feed my family. I'm just harvesting bush tucker to feed my. Gather 